Guys, John here, Mr. Forex Fire. It's 10th of February. It's now Thursday. Uh, we're looking around about quarter to nine. So I'm going to head over onto the main screen, have a little chat. Uh, we'll possibly have a little look at setting up some more uh, some more trades using the, the fire levels, but we'll, we'll up the game a bit today. We'll, we'll up the lot sizes that I'm going to risk. Uh, just share the screen if you just bear with me. Just make that a bit bigger so this is a discord channel at the moment this is where i call some fire trades yesterday okay uh we had uh gold that went to 60 pips nzd card 20 so there's 80 pips nzd card went to 40 so the 60 and the 40 there's 100 okay uh from there the gold went up to 100 okay so that's 100 uh 100 on there uh, that'll be 140 because obviously we don't count that six, it's 140 pips. And then we had the odd, ca odd card, uh, 20 pips, uh, 140, so that's 160 pips since yesterday. Uh, good, great day for results as well. Uh, the guys in the EDR stuff, let's have a look, see what they've been doing. There we are. Let's just have a quick rundown of what these guys have been doing. So this was from the 9th. It was the 9th yesterday, wasn't it? A few people posting 50 pips, 80 pips, 100 pips. I'm getting in some charts, uh, 161 pips. This morning so far, there's 40 pips, 105 pips, 77 pips. So it's all going well on there as well. But we're going to head over to the chart and see what we'll find under the note here. So the preference is always the same as what we have been doing. Uh, we working on the, obviously from the daily first of all. Okay, we've got the levels in each week, just gonna stop the share minute. So each week, what we'll do is uh, on a weekend, we set the levels up, okay? So we go through the process. Now, if you've not seen the process and how we do that, you need to go back and watch the other video. Uh, again, just look for fire levels on the YouTube or if you're in the Discord. It's in the fire levels area. <clears throat> we reset the levels every weekend, okay? And then the levels that we set, we work upon. The only thing that changes on a day-to-day -day basis is the zonal from when we get up on the morning to work the London session. We choose uh, the, the new daily, uh, previous day uh, zones, okay? So we're going to head on over to that. I'm going to show you. Excuse me, tell this one. We'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we're just gonna share the screen again. There we are. So again, uh, make sure you've got the blue on here so it doesn't move anything. This was the previous day candle. Okay, so we need to get rid of the blue. The blue. Let's take a look. That was the alerts I was setting. We'll remove that. Obviously, didn't come down to do my alert on that yesterday. And just, I just want to take your attention to here. Okay, yesterday, yesterday we uh, started at fifty pound of profit. We took a bit of a loss, took it down to forty, but then we brought it back and ended up with thirty thirty pound profit. So twenty pound profit in reality because we started at fifty. So we we built the account up a bit more. Let's just start this afresh. Share that back. It's that one there and that one there. Right. So again, these arrows on here. These are just basically. These are basically trades that I was taking from yesterday. So what we do is we go. I'll do this first one, and then I'm going to set up the rest uh, off camera, okay? So once we uh, take away the zones from this candle here, there's, how we do it is we set the candle to the, the daily wick high. We need it to be blue. You need it number two, and you need it on a thick line, okay? So it's a daily wick high on the previous. 
This is the new daily candle up here. We may be able to get it in a trade in as soon as well, to be fair. So you do daily wick high, you do the daily wick low, okay? Now we're gonna zoom in. From there, you're gonna do the close of the daily, and we are gonna make this in a dashed line, okay? And you're gonna do the open of the daily, right? Now, what happens from there, what happens from there, you're going to get your fibs. You're going to work from the daily low to the daily high. Ignore the fib ratios that's on here at the moment, okay? We just need to have, uh, let's have a look. We just need to have a 50% on here. So I've got the improper balance uh, price action. So there's 50%, okay, the zero five. And I'm going to drop a line onto that, and we're gonna make it purple. It's gonna be dotted, okay? And then that one's gonna be a three. From that, I'm just gonna delete that, and then move that up a touch because that's where, that's where it was. And that's how we set up the new frame. So generally what happens is you've got, uh, just to give you a rundown as well again, the, the colors on here are, Easy, okay. The red is on a monthly key turning point. The orange is the weekly. Uh, the daily will either be black or they will be yellow on my charts, okay. It just depends when I've set these up, to be fair. And the general preference is we look at what's happening on the daily. We can see we've got push down, push up retracement, push down, didn't break the structure. It's now on its way to test this area at the moment okay we're on now testing this area at the moment uh we're going to continue to push up so i'm possibly going to wait until uh later on the day and i'm going to wait possibly till we get an alarm from let's take a look just want to have a look at the 15 minute i want to go for a buy on this okay so it's a continuation and trend so I'm going to set an alarm for, in fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set a buy straight away. Let's see. I'm going to set a buy. And I'm going to have a point. Three or instead of point one, we're going to do point three or the gear point three or take profit up to about this level here. Okay, we're gonna back it in a couple of more because we want to come down into a deep retracement. Okay, so we're going to be uh, we've got the the buy limit on the top here. We're going to have a one roundabout here point three or let's look at the limit set there so there we'll bring this one down a bit And then I'm going to have one set on the open of the daily. Okay, so we've got three deep retracements. Just going to set that up. And I'm going to take a take profit a little bit higher on this one. Modify order. And then the stock will bring down. Right, let's move on to the next one. We've got, we've got a, the, the reason behind this, guys, okay, I'll just to so I can explain a bit more. On the daily, we can see on the daily, we're coming down, we're moving, so we've got highs, lower highs, uh, lower lows, lower highs. We, we're not breaking the structure of this, so 
we're, we're now pushing back up on, onto this. Again, as you can see from the daily aspect, we're in lows, high highs, higher lows, high highs, lower highs. Now we're, we're on the drive back up. We haven't broke on the retracement here, okay? So this range here is still telling me it's bullish. So it's still going to be going up on the uptrend. That's on the daily, okay? So we, we fix it down into the four, the four hourly. And there's going to be much of the same, okay? You can see on here, we, we've come down a bit of a channel. Now we, we broke structure from here, high, higher low, high, high, higher low, high, high, higher low. And then we're creating now a higher high, a higher high from this aspect with the intention of a, po a possible pullback, okay? So we're looking for a possible pullback into at least the deepest discount here to then go up to this area, okay? So we bring it down to the one hour. And again, we've still got that trend holding structure. Go down the 15 minute. This is where we're looking for the in and out of the entries. Uh, again, it's been holding structure on its way up. We're coming down, we might be getting into a buy limit very shortly, quarter of five minutes. And you can see the strong uptrend there, even on the five minute, we still haven't been breaking structure of these higher lows. Uh, but as we're moving up, a little bit of consolidation here, we've come down, but we still didn't break the range from here to here. That range wasn't broken. So we're still in the continuation of a higher highs, higher lows. This is another impulse drive above here so we've created a high high so we're looking at, at the move coming down and at, at worst at worst we're looking at the range of this okay we're looking at that range to be worked upon uh all of my buy limits if you look all of my buy limits are worked within this range so we're looking at an entry uh, from a higher high to making a higher low coming down and structurally smart trading wise bouncing into the key level areas of what we would have the, the 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 daily wick high and the daily close high. Okay, I don't want to go too much deeper. I'm I'm classing the stop loss areas as the fifty percent of the daily. There's the order coming in now, and uh, again, we'll see if this pushes and do, does a reverse up. Okay, uh, let's just go deeper into this. And hopefully you get the gist of what I'm doing with that. Again, uh, it's bounced, it's, it's starting to reject. It's a little bit of profit, but I am anticipating a possible, uh, still a possible uh, sort of move down into these areas and possibly take off, okay? Because it's just going to be a retraced on the higher time frame where it's it, it's on that range then, on the higher time frame, it's just going to be a pullback. We're just seeing how deep down into that pullback we can go. And we're into some nice profits there. A good analysis on that, to be fair. Uh, the GBP, USD. What I'll do is I'll set this one up. And then I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do the rest of my zones, okay? So this is just to show you everything that I need. So the red is the monthly. Uh, the, the orange is the weekly. Make sure the lock is blue. And the yellow is the daily on this one. So there's all my trades just from the other day when I was taking them. Uh, Let's just zoom in. And you can see from here. This is uh, the daily work high, the daily work low, and the body in the body of the candle. Okay, we're now into the new candles. So what I'm going to do is just get that. I should just be able to move this, to be fair. Just get rid of that. Daily work high, open, close, daily work low. Just see if it's time having to set it all up. And then we need the 50%. So the 50%, if, if you see that, that's bang on. It's bang on the, it's moved up to the 50% now. So this is going to be interesting. This. Let's just take a look. Get rid of that. Fifty percent is on that wick. Uh, 
just before we go, I just want to do an analysis on this as well, guys. So as you can see, we're, we've come down in a downtrend. And again, top-down analysis, downtrends, highs, lows, low highs, lower lows, low highs, lower lows. We're now broke structure of this. And so we're now going possibly into a, a bullish area. Uh, so we've got the lows. Now we've got the higher high from here, a higher low from here. And now we're stuck into a little bit of consolidation and indecisiveness. So we're bouncing off this. We, we could have a, an accumulation here because we've got the bullish. It's going to accumulate on here. We're just going to go down to the four hour. See, see what we can see. Uh, again, on the daily, your daily is still going to be uh, that sort of drive. That's what you're expecting from a daily. Okay, uh, just get rid of that. But as we'll come up, high highs, low, high lows, high highs, high lows, peaked, come back down, uh, higher lows, lower highs, lower lows, because we're breaking structure points up here. Okay. We're now taking liquidity from that side as we're breaking structures. We're coming all the way down to here, broken that structure. And then it's it's it is getting into an accumulation phase, uh, a consolidation phase, sorry. It's just which way is it going to break? It's going to be hard to determine, to be fair. Uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's consolidating quite a bit here. I think for myself, I want to set an alarm because if it breaks to here, if it breaks to there, okay, if we come down here and it breaks out, I'm going to look for a bounce. I'm going to look for a bounce of that and then a possible move up to that 50%. Uh, and then I'll, I'll hold me stop loss just below the daily wake low. If that makes sense. Okay. So we're in on one trade at the moment. It's in drawdown. But again, we are using higher lot sizes. We'll see what happens. We'll see how the trading goes today. I'm going to pause the video. I'll be back in a moment just while I set up the rest of my zones. Okay. Be back in a bit. Hi, guys. So within uh, minutes, we've actually uh, made a run about a tenner of profit straight away. Uh, might as well just keep you around for a few minutes or two just while I, I set these other ones up. So we're just simply moving the zones. So we're now going to the, like I say, the daily, previous daily high, previous daily open, previous daily close, and then the 50%. I'm just going to eye that on there to be fair because I know roughly where I'm looking at. Again, I'm going to set this up as. Uh, a buy. It looks like the, the euro is going to start gathering strength now, to be fair. I'm just going to put this in. I'm going to lower the lot size a bit because we, we've had a couple. Uh, take profit. We need to go to here. Ah, just below the 50%. This might just be a strong push, to be fair, as well. Uh, and then finally, what the GPP card to set up. Uh, in fact, no, we haven't got that. So we've got everything done from what I would normally trade on a day to day basis. Uh, let's go down to 15 minutes. Let's have a look. So we need a push down on this uh, to end, and we've got a couple of. Uh, take profits uh, from the buy limit. So the buys is a continuation of trend. Uh, each time frame that we're looking on a higher time frame, the direction is holding true with regards to the, the high highs, the higher lows, okay? So I'm looking for that little bit of a pullback into the daily range. So uh, the minimal pullback I'm looking at is the, the daily wick high to the daily wick, uh, the daily wick high to the daily close of candle. They're the areas I'm looking for the bounce off 
uh, to then have a continuation. Uh, the 50% of the previous daily uh, candle is around about where the stop loss area is, okay? Uh, let's take a look. So the GBP USD, I think I got in on a train on this and then it's, uh, was it that? Uh, let's have a look. Was we, it was the OJPY. So the OJPY is what gives us the profits. I must have got profits off one of the trades there because it got filled. We got filled and, and it was a uh, order ID. It hit the TP area. So that's what gave us the over 10 pound uh, of profit. Uh, in fact, we were on just over 60 odd this morning. I'll have to look back at the end of this video to see where we start up. But we're, we're definitely in some good profit anyway, put it that way. Position a little bit of drawdown the other one, not particularly the post that we're in drawdown on that one because we took good take profits and we are just eating into the profits that we've made today. So we're not in drawdown in essence, but uh, we have been taking some good profit. Okay, so the OGPY uh, is what we took the profit on. The ORD USD, I haven't got a trade set up on the ORD uh, GP USD at the moment. Let's just have a look at the daily, see if we can see something. So again, make sure this is blue. We're coming down. We're still in this downtrend that the structure's holding, but it's just this range here. It's weakened on the downtrend because we're not breaking structure now. So as we're weakened, we're coming back up. And this is on a daily, remember, where we've coming back up and it, it's, it's just... It's finding it hard. It's starting to consolidate, to be fair. Uh, so the downtrend shift could be on on this. Uh, let's just take a look. It's going to be hard in the call on this one, to be fair. Yeah. That's on the one hour. 15 minutes. For us to make a call on this, I'm going to need 50% broke. Either the 50% area broke, or I want the open of the previous daily candle uh, broke. So I've got an alert on either side of this, because then we're going to see a push and a drive. Uh, so again, it's either going to be on this one, it's either going to be the drive down bang, or it's going to be a drive down and then a push down here. But we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, we'll go back up to the daily. Look here. Make sure that's on the blue so it doesn't move. The audio SD, we know we've got our limit orders in. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Again, we're in good profit, so I'm not worrying. The GBP, GPY, getting the push. Down to one hour. Right, down to 15 minutes. Let's take a look. Right, so this is shooting up at the moment. <clears throat> this could reject off this area. Uh, <clears throat> set an alert for, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to set an alert to deer for here. I just want to see if we're going to get a, a bounce, a retrace into that, and then possibly further up. It's possibly some we're looking at, but I've got me alert set on that. Uh, this is a level at the moment that I'm waiting for a rejection on, for sure. See if we get into that. Uh, I believe if we get a move, if we get a move where it pushes out of that, it might just bounce off that and then go for it. We just want to wait and see. So I'm just going to put some annotations on here. Just so when I come back at it, I know what I'm looking at. Uh, USD, GPY. Whew. USD is strong at the moment. That must mean gold's going down, does it? Gold will be dropping like a stone if the USD is uh, strong. 
go to that level there. Turn the 15 minute on the hour. Say so yes, the other day I spoke about this area here, <clears throat> the liquidity. It didn't quite take it all, it dropped like a stone. Now it's coming to attack. It's definitely coming to attack this now at the moment. Uh, so again, psychological levels on the higher side, psychological level area is certainly up, up here. Uh, go back down to 15 minutes. And what you see, we've got a strong push urgent towards that area. So again, just so I know what I'm looking at, that's a potential target for the DOP, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we may get strong push up and then a bounce back down. Or we might get people that's in a buy uh, all of a sudden come down and they'll get taken out by uh, what the strong move is and they'll come down and take out the liquidity on these lower sides. It might actually come down and take out all of this here as well and then shoot up to then come down, okay? But it just depends where most orders lay, okay? And what I mean by that is where most liquidity is. And at the moment, it's on the upside for certain, for certain. But there's two options where price could do. We could get a massive push spike down in at the 50% and then get the, the for the New York, it might come back up and then bounce down. But we'll, we'll wait and see. USD card. I am in a trade on this at the moment. Uh, if we can get it on. I am on a trade at this in a moment. I don't know if you can see that. Where I'm in on a sell, to be fair. I've been holding that for a few years. It's in around about 100, 100 pound of profit, to be honest. Uh, Euro GPY. Buy limit. <clears throat> set up. And that's it, guys. So at the moment, I've only got the one trade active there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll come back in a bit. I'm just going to do a little bit of work in the house. Uh, I'm going to, I will be cutting this trading day short from an aspect of what I'm doing on a video because I've got a Zoom call with a guy a little later about harmonics and, and some, some harmonica learns and things like that. And then uh, I'll be doing some live trading and call outs for the Discord a little later on this afternoon after I've had that call as well. So, yeah, we'll see what kind of profits we can bring in the day. Just taking one or two trades this time. Uh, we are in profit. A little bit of drawdown on the one that's currently there. But today's session, it's doing well. I think I've took just as much profit in that one trade this morning than what I took most of yesterday morning, to be fair. But we started that account as a 10K demo. And we've been using these fire levels and slowly building it up. And so far this week, we, we've gained around about a 70 pound of profit. Okay. It's not always about going for the big money, just compound it and compound it and compound it. And it's all good. Okay. So I'll pause the video and we will be back in a short while. Hey guys, just go back to share the screen. Get this one back up. You can see we're now in some good profit now uh, on one of the orders we're waiting for, possibly a pullback to get some deeper discounts. Well, I'm happy with this profit at the moment. You can see we started around about 60 or 70 pound of profit uh, from a couple of days ago. We're now heading towards 90 pounds. Uh, some good trades being taken, uh, some good analysis and bias direction moves, some strong uptrends on these. Uh, and it looks like we're catching this pretty well today. Uh, going on what we're looking at, we're still looking for a bit of a pullback on this is a lot of strength in some of the in some of the pairs this morning to be fair <clears throat> again we've pushed out of this range here so i'm possibly gonna get rid of these buy limits i'm gonna set uh, a buy there okay because we're, we're out of that zone now for sure. I'm going to use some lower lot sizes on, on these now as well. We're going to have the stop loss just below the daily wick high. Uh, we've got the entry on the body of the, the last candle. We'll probably get this 
this push down to be fair and then a maneuver up again we've moved out of this range from out of the out of the daily zone uh so again i will now get rid of that also but we're going to manage some of the trade we're going to there were 50 percent or because we've got a little bit of imbalance as well this is where the eye comes into it as well we've got some imbalance here so again if i do 50 percent of the imbalance and we'll get a trade on here as well uh once again don't worry about what we're seeing on pips and stop losses at the moment uh 0.15 we're doing half the lot size uh we've got the entry we're going to do that's the take profit we're going to do the take profit up to here so we do get the retracement we're still anticipating a move up to this higher side but if we get the, the maneuver coming down uh and come a little bit of drawdown what we're doing is we're getting a bit of a deeper discount coming into this imbalance area. Uh, just a, a further technique that you'll learn when you've been trading for as long as I have. You're using a uh, point of interest, you know. So again, some good profits. The odd USD is the odd. Have I got anything on the GPV USD? No, that's the one that get us, got us the profit this morning. It's coming, it's bouncing. I should have had the stop loss because we're, a little stop loss to take profit I had here. I should have just put it up onto the higher side, but it looks as if I got out at the right area, to be fair, because now it's starting to weaken and it's starting to pull back a bit. Uh, so what we might find from there is we're going to get uh, a test, which is what I thought we were going to get. we we'll had to push up. We now might get that push down and test this 50% before we get the further move up. So again, what I'll do on that rep, preference and we're just going to put a trade on the the open of that last candle uh again i are just going to click the stop and uh, the tape we're just going to leave it as point uh one five okay uh, again we don't worry what's on this area here because we can adjust this so we've got the buy limit on the last on the last open of of the current candle it's a 15 minute candle we want the stop loss at around about the, the daily close candle, okay? And then we're going to have the take profit possibly taking us up to just below the, the, the yellow uh, daily, the daily uh, turning point, okay? Uh, so we're just going to modify that. So that will come into play. Uh, the audio SD, it's, it's starting to weaken a bit now. Uh, let's just take a look. I think what I'm going to do at the moment, I'm going to, I'm going to take that profit off the table and I'm going to cancel that buy limit. We're now in some good profits today. Uh, GP, GPY. Let's have a look, see where we are with this. Get myself focused in. So now we've crashed up and through this area. Okay, that's what we were anticipating. Uh, We've got, let's just get rid of some of this and see what we can look at. So this has made its move for sure. It's made its move from here. So I'm going to do an entry. Do a buy again. Make this a lower lot size because I don't want to risk too much on this one, to be fair. We're going to come just below that area there, <clears throat> which is the, the weekly turning point. And I want it just a quick in and out if we can. Uh, basically, just it's like a one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to come down into the close on the open of the previous candle, okay? We might get a rejection bounce off, and then we're going to take up to the 50% of that current candle there. Uh, USD GPY still pushing, we're still not getting a, a reaction from that USD card. And so we're starting to come below. So the USD card looks as if it's going to push further down, which is good news for me because basically I'm, in, I'm already in on a trade on this from a couple of days ago. So I'm now looking at the, the opportunity of a push out of the daily wick low, bounce off the daily wick low, and then down to this area here. Uh, 
So I'm going to set me alarm to be found. Set me alarm. Uh, 15 minute with lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. A uh, bit of a retracement in. We need structure to break on here. Uh, and again, it's on a psychological level as it is at the moment because nearly on 127. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, I might go in for a sell here. Okay, I'll get a stop just above that. We've got a monthly line there. I'll get another one here. I'm not bothered if this one loses out to be fair. It's a bit more of a risky trade. It's just I am anticipating this to go to the lower side. Just do that. Sell limit stop loss just on here. Take profit, I might take it down to this bit here. Uh, so we've got we've got a few trades set up, okay. And, and then we've got some on here as well. Uh your GPY. We've got any on here? We've got a buy limit set up. It's rocketed past there. So I need to cancel that. Uh, we could see no, it's on a it's on a weekly this is on a weekly level at the moment we've got another weekly level just above it we've got the daily wick high daily wick low uh the daily close of the candle daily open of the candle and the 50 percent. so this this shows me if this purple dotted line doesn't go between these two areas we've got indecisive price action if that makes sense and this proves why that was because we had the consolidation and then it was, there was going to be a reaction and it's happened it's come out of the 50 percent it's bounced off the daily close and then it's shot up to the weekly on the next key level to be fair so a couple of things we could do a move push up to either here or further up okay <clears throat> excuse me or <clears throat> or what could be happening is Price at the moment, price at the moment uh, could do a little bit of meandering along here, and then it might break above a little bit, come down, then shoot up to this here. We just need to see. We just need to see what's going to happen. Uh, I've got a few orders in, to be honest. So there's a few inactive. The ones I'd see inactive are limits and pending orders. So we're in good profits at the moment. Just bring my handsome face down here. Some good profits from setting up this morning. Uh, we've literally been trading for about an hour. Uh, again, uh, I am doing this on the demo via Train View with Pepperstone. I do have two live accounts. I'm pretty confident now that I can use Pepperstone in my trading on Train View straight away. I just needed to get used to the platform and setting these limits and uh, the pendants via the, the Train View uh, as opposed to my MT4. But this week, taking the slow steps, I, I believe I can integrate into now trading view, which is going to make my trading a hell of a lot easier, to be fair. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, at the moment, we're just sitting, wait and see what things come active. Got the orders there set. Uh, the one that's closest to entering at the moment, let's just take a look. Uh, one that's closest to entering at the moment, it's definitely going to be the, G the GBP, GPY. We'll see that enters to get us in and out. I'll pause the video. I'm going to go and sort out what I'm doing this morning and I'll be closing this off in the next hour. We'll see where we are in the next hour with our profits, okay? So I'll pause the video. We'll be back for a conclusion for the end of today's session. Hi, guys. So we took a little bit of a dip because I was busy on sorting uh, my dinner. I wasn't keeping an eye on the charts. So we took a bit of a dip. Still in profit, though, from, from, this, from this morning. Uh, these two are going uh, into profit as we speak. However, we do have uh, some other orders which are inactive, which are just simple, simply limit orders. I've got to jump off for a call with a guy at the moment. I'm going to do part two on this in uh, the next couple of hours or so. So I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to join the next uh, video onto this. <clears throat> so you'll see me in a little while. We'll see you in a bit.
<clears throat> Hi guys, so as you can see from this morning, we set up the trades, okay? Uh, we went into some really good profits. However, I got busy in the kitchen and wasn't keeping an eye on my trades and managing them. Uh, again, this technique is always advised to watch for these key areas. Did set alarms, but I didn't hear the alarm going off when I was cooking the dinner and the tea for later on tonight. However, we got back into it after I set everything away and set some more trades away. I'm just going to share the screen and show you where we are. Let's take a look. Right, so this is where we are at the moment. Uh, we're in some good profit and we're back up to the 80 odd pound uh, in profit. We started at around about just on 70 this morning, I think it was. We've climbed the account to just above 80. So I'm happy with that profit that's there today. Uh, I think I might close these off, actually, to be fair. I'm going to close all my positions off. And now we're on £83 profit. Uh, we'll get rid of the limit orders. And that's going to be it for me for trading. Let's see if we have any limit orders on. And that's just over the last three days. We started this three days ago uh, using the fire levels. Uh, and we, we've got an £80 of profit. Again, it's not always about going for big money. Just going for these little bits, uh, a few pips movements. And then again, what we're going to be doing is at the start, the start of next week, uh, we will reset all of the, the charts, okay? And what I'll do is I think I'll start off another session where I'm going to show you me marking up the charts, how we do it, and then we're going to be going into next week doing some more of these. So you're going to see me live trading these on the, the 10K demo account, and we'll continue to do it. So hopefully over time, it builds the confidence by you to, to follow through, watch what I do, and take notes on the key elements on obviously higher time frame, lower time frame structure based upon the key levels. Look for when we get a break and retest to see where we're going to be getting in and then not just getting in on the trade, but this is going to help you sort of do a smart trade where rather than smart money, smart trade where you're waiting for the pullback. You've got your zonal pullback area and then you're putting in your areas on a small lot size ready for after the retrace to bounce up. If you continue with that retrace, the deeper the retrace pullback goes, you're getting in at a deeper discount. And that's the best way to mentally think about it. Okay, guys, as always, if you want to know more on what we're doing, either comment on the YouTube video below. Uh, there is descriptions in the YouTube video. Hit the click, like, subscribe. Uh, get notified when I, when I do these. I am thinking about starting to do some things live with this as well on the YouTube channel. Uh, not just obviously recorded live, but I'm thinking about going live, live, if that makes sense. And from there, uh, guys, if you're watching this inside the Discord, please head over to the advanced chat. Let me know what you're thinking on these little bits of series, because I know inside the Discord what I do is I've got two or three different sort of uh, areas at the moment, uh, like your harmonics, fire levels, uh, the one minute scalpel where we've done videos. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing this one. The harmonics will be coming in soon with the fire harmonics, okay? I've, just, I've got a call later on. In fact, it was supposed to be an hour ago, the guy's on the road at the moment. So I'm gonna be on a call with that guy. Hopefully, hopefully fingers crossed, we've got the alerts set up for this, okay? So again, if you're enjoying the stuff and uh, you want to continue seeing it, please show your love uh, and support. Just drop a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll catch you on the next one, uh, which will be Monday. We'll start this back off on Monday next week. I don't do any trading on a Friday. Friday is my day off. <laughs>